open. We watched the opening ceremony live right here on News 4. As we all know, a traditional part of the ceremony is the Parade of Nations. Today on Long Island, it inspired a special lesson at one elementary school. Here's News 4 anchor Adam Cooperstein. The Olympic spirit marching through a gym on Long Island. <laughs> Students at William Floyd Elementary School in Shirley waving flags and torches. <laughs> proudly chanting their country's name for an Olympic-inspired parade of nations. It was really fun because we got to make flags the day before, then we got to color them, and then it was just fun cheering. Thirteen different countries were represented. <laughs> from all over the world. Each class picked one and learned about it. Italy has over um, 1,500 lakes. Alexis Lafreniere was on Team Italy. Sophia Sucroy, the Netherlands. And the capital city is Amsterdam, and they're known for their flower fields. Some students dressed in costume. <laughs> A few adults dressed as pandas. <laughs> And everyone got a lesson on sportsmanship. We feel it's important that uh, kids understand the, the spirit of the Olympic Games right. and what they stand for uh, by utilizing the Olympic Creed, explaining how um, you know the triumph doesn't matter, but the fight is, is what matters. Just like the real Olympics, William Floyd Elementary holds its ceremony every four years. But this one is special. Because of COVID restrictions the past two years, this is the first school event where students could finally all come together outside their individual classrooms. I think that's helped pump them up. And um, just the fact that they've been studying their country and now they get to represent their country um, you know, on, a, on a, a larger stage, I think is really exciting for them. How we love to see him so pumped up and learning along the way. It's good and good for us. And Adam Cooperstein will take it now as News 4 at 5 begins.